Hey everyone, this is Panhead Gaming. Welcome to day 8 of 7 Days to Die Alpha 5. Did I say I'm Panhead Gaming? I think I did. There I go, getting stuck behind that uh, half block wall again. Today, you know, I know in the last video, I think I taught, last two videos, always, I talked about uh, setting up a Horde Knight. But I got a comment from uh, someone who said, yeah, don't worry about the grindy stuff, it's part of survival games. But I thought, you know, that's true, that's a fair point. I mean, it's part of the deal, right? But today I decided, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Gravetown. I'm going to get to a, like a safer spot and we'll pull up the map. Okay, so if we look at the map, it's all laid out. I don't have to discover anything like we do in Alpha 20. You look in the bottom left-hand corner where my cursor is. That's Gravetown. Back in the day, it was Gravetown. But here comes a bee. A hornet. Bastard. Oh, look at that. We'll take that. Back in the day, they called it Gravetown. Now it's graves, plural, town. Not it's not a significant difference, but I'm gonna have to follow the map here a little bit and check once in a while, just because th this version of the game is slightly different. It feels a little bit foreign compared to what I am used to. So if you'll bear with me on that, I'd appreciate it. If it was the right the version of seven days, the current version, I mean, I wouldn't know how to get there real easy. But in the new version of Navis game, there's new roads, new buildings. You know, a lot of it's pretty similar, but it's definitely expanded and been updated since Alpha 5. Obviously, yeah, right? Great, and I'm already killing my stamina. That's all right, I got plenty of water if I need it. And if we want, we'll find more. Oh, look at that, a submachine gun. We're going to Gravetown, so we will find it. Or we will find more, rather. More than likely. If not, no big deal. I just had to kill Arlene. There's where the church was. Can't remember where they moved it to, but it ain't there anymore. That might be where Jens is. I'm not sure. I'm sure somebody knows. But I can see the burnt forest coming up. Now this is where you get into some really weird noises. If I remember correctly. They're really creepy. The ambiance of this game at this point was a little extra creepy. I really liked that. Yeah, and then there's always these two uh, quarter buildings in this version. They're always there, I think. I know they were the last time I played this in a private game. Anyhow. So let's check the map again. Yep, I'm still going down. I just keep following this road. This is the ranger's cabin. That was a crap shot, but I don't care. There we go. I'm just going to kind of blaze right by these guys. One thing I should point out, this has a nice little, if you aim it, it has a nice little red dot. And if you aim it, I'm not even holding my mouse. It'll stay there until you click the right mouse button again. Until you right click it. It will hold in that position. Okay, we gotta go through the desert a little bit. Which I find I rather like the desert in any given game. It's just such a different environment compared to the rest. I mean, they're all different, but the desert, to me, anyways, really stands out. And that's probably because I live in Wisconsin. 
which is cold half the year, basically. So it, a desert is kind of foreign to me. I've been in Nevada, Nevada, and I've seen the desert up close and personal, but it's still pretty foreign to me. It's not an everyday thing for sure. So I guess that's probably why I find it to be unique. Not that that matters or anything, I'm just talking to talk right now. I'm not going to search the trashes right now, even though they're probably pretty good, but still. Back in the day, you know, every loot container of any kind mattered, really, when you get down to it. So that I'm not as happy with. But, you know, it's still kind of valuable, so there you go. Come on. Come on, give me the thing. More water. We're in the desert. I suppose we need that. Check the map again. Pretty soon I gotta take a... Well, left. Or a right. Rather, d depending on the perspective you're looking at it from. And I've mentioned before, in video games, I'm directionally challenged. So, so you'll have to forgive me. In the real world, I'm okay with directions. But everything's, you know, in 3D, so. Video games are two-dimensional, really, when you get down to it. I'm not taking the knife. Okay, and ahead of me is... Looking to be the wasteland. Oh, yeah, I can just walk directly into it. Okay. So I don't have to take a left or a right. We can just go forward. So here we are in the wasteland. That was, you know, that's going to look kind of familiar, right? I mean, it's obviously blockier and uh, the graphics aren't quite as good, but it looks familiar. It still has the same atmosphere. Now, these things, you can't pick them up. At one point in the game, I know you could pick up cinder blocks. can't remember where that, what version that started in. You could pick up the cinder blocks. Let's see what happens. Pretty sure you can break them down? Yep, you can break them down. Let's see what happens when we do stuff with them. Nothing. I know they're useful. I know they are useful for something. But for the life of me, I can't remember what. But, you know, if there's anything that we can make from our inventory, it will show up in my crafting list on the right here where my cursor is. So that's a clue. But I'm not really out here after this stuff right now. I want to get to Gravetown. Just to have a little bit of an adventure there, maybe a couple episodes or whatever. I don't have to worry about getting back to my horde base or anything like that. Let's get out a weapon. In fact, let's get out the spike club. I think that looks cool. Now, we could be getting to the... Yeah, we're getting to the radiation zone. So I probably should have taken a... A different turn up there but let's see what direction are we pointed in you know generally grave town is that way let's go through directly through the wasteland so why not we'll search Arlene there or whoever that might be to me that looks and sounds like Arlene so that's Arlene I mean, there's a similar, there's definitely the same uh, audio, as far as I can tell. And the face and stuff looks kind of similar. Just not as uh, deformed as what we're used to seeing. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Excuse me. Yeah, this all looks pretty familiar, don't it? Cars, you know, you couldn't wrench them back in the day. You didn't get mechanical parts and electrical parts. You didn't build a electrical traps or anything like that. And I don't even think that showed up until Alpha 16, if I'm not mistaken. And here we got a little army camp. That's cool. There's some useful things usually in these camps. You can get a bedroll. I tried to power attack there. You can't do that in Alpha 5. Matt. Well, that's my name, Matt. There's three different things I could call myself. Panhead Gaming, Codger, or Matt. Codger's for my motorcycle channel. Matt's my real name. I don't care if you know that. It's not a big deal. I'm not a person that's really trying to hide anything, so I don't care if you know. Now a little bit extra food, not a bad deal. We are getting a little hungry. I don't want... Well, I'll take the cooking pot, just in case. Can you pick that up? Yeah, you can pick that up. Don't want the cans. I realize I'm not doing a total loot or anything. I know this. But look at the time, it's 1619, which means, you know, it's 4 p.m., but as far as seven days is concerned, that's pretty late in the day, as fast as the days go. So, we're just trying to hustle our way to... Let's drink some water. I keep trying to hit tab. Let's bring down the sham. Eat the can and all. And that'll be good enough for now. We'll switch back to water because I feel like that's the better choice. It's kind of like instant stamina. So let's check the map again. Kind of need to angle. Well, we're going more or less in the right direction. And once we see Gravestown, it'll become obvious. Or Gravetown. Yeah, and there you can see the buildings. <laughs> now, in the recent ver in the Alpha... Let me start that over. In the Alpha 20 version of the game, there's been some changes in what Gravestown looks like compared to what this is right now. But a lot of it's similar. It really hasn't changed all that much in my book. Some, sure. Some might argue that it's changed a lot, but, you know, these holes in the, in the roads are pretty much the same thing they always were. That really hasn't changed. Some of the buildings have been moved around. A lot of these burnt out old buildings, same as they always were. This is a building, if I'm playing on Navisgain and staying in the wasteland, I will stay at to this day. This building right here. This building's basically the same. Alright, painkillers. Bird's nest. Lots of feathers, sweet. I think over here, right around here, there's a death safe, though. In the current version. See? There we go, I found another SMG. That's pretty sweet. But this is Gravestown. And I want to point out that I love the Wasteland. Because it's apocalyptic looking a lot more apocalyptic looking i i feel it fits the game better and it's creepy like a horror game should be so i like that aspect of it it's a little bit more dangerous sure but i don't see that as a big deal and i believe i don't know if they moved this in the current version the governor's mansion or whatever this is but it's still definitely in the game currently it just probably looks a bit different on the inside 
Yeah, it's not easy to find pistols. Or it's not hard to find pistols. I'm struggling with words today. I just got done working my uh, work week. So, you know, I'm a little bit pooped out. Get rid of that. But yeah, I just love it in the wasteland. But we do need to get up some up somewhere and safe from zombies right now. So next episode, what we'll do is we'll do a little bit better search of this place. We'll just look around. We're not gonna go through every single building here. But where's the <laughs> and where's the building I want to be in? We'll definitely uh, do a little bit better search. Yeah, I want to be up there because uh, I can more easily stop the flow of zombies from getting to me up in this building. And that's why I always choose it. I know what blocks to break out and stuff in this one. Basically the same ones. That's not really changed. Now we should throw up some torches here because it's getting a little dark. So, that's for you viewers. I don't really care. I'm sure you understand that though. I mean, content creators mention that all the time. There we go. That should be good enough. If it's not, we can always make adjustments. And over here, that doesn't look too bad. Hopefully, I will be okay. Did I search this? Of course not. But yeah, here we are in Gravetown. We'll spend some time down here just because it's one of two towns in Navasgain at this point. There's no parish in, there's no departure, there's no uh, Old West Town. It's just Dyersville and Gravetown. Well, here's the death safe. It's not there in the current version. It's over where my cursor is pointing. Over where my shotgun is pointing. Right over there. But no big deal. Anyhow, not an exciting episode, but these are how the days went in Alpha 5. You might spend the whole day just going from one place to another. And then doing whatever you're going to do over the course of however many days you want to spend in a certain place. That's just how it went. Apparently. It's a little bit harder to make content with because it's there's not as much in the game. But anyways, this has been... But anyways, this has been Panhead Gaming. I'd like to remind all bikers to ride safe and keep the shiny side up. I'd like to remind everyone else to live their best life. And I'd like to remind everyone, please thank a veteran or active service member for their service. They have earned your respect and gratitude. Have a great one. Now, oh, hey, are you coming for a ride with me? No? Then why don't you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And then, after that, why don't you think about going for a ride with me next time? I promise it'll be a lot of fun. You'll have a great time. But until then, have a great one.